So in 2015, I had a personal experience. It was on Twitter, actually. Someone posted a picture that went viral. Someone was able to save up 365,000 naira for the entire year. How was this person able to do it? The person was able to put aside 1,000 naira every day for 365 days. And that was interesting to every one of us. I mean, it was so fascinating because it's something I had personally tried in the past, but I was not able to get through with it. I mean, this was so interesting that I actually ordered myself a savings box, paid 2,500 naira for it. I was going to start to save next year. But then I told myself that, okay, what happens when month three comes and then I break this box and then I, I can't afford to you know, continue saving? And then I noticed that, okay, there are so many millions of young people out there who have this difficulty in actually managing their finances properly. I'll give you an example. Let's take the average young person as Linda. So Linda is 28 years old. She works in a good company. She earns a fair salary. She has plans to start her own business in the next five years, an interior deco business. But then she has three main problems. One, she's a bad spender. She spends recklessly on frivolous things. Two, she cannot, she's completely blindfolded to investment opportunities around her. That's even when she has little cash, she doesn't even know what to invest the funds in. And three, she wants to start a business, but she doesn't know how to get cash. Now, when you look at um, the, the digital financial space in Nigeria, what, what is obtainable in terms of savings today? A lot of people actually open multiple bank accounts and transfer funds every month into their accounts and purposely don't collect ATM cards for, that, for those accounts. Some people actually do what you call Ajo or Isusu. That's very common. It's an age-long tradition. And, you know, these things are very, very, very common. When it comes to lending, you know, it's, it's very, very difficult. The banks are not lending to us, you and I. They rather lend to corporates or the government. I mean, treasury bill rates are very, very high today, and some of us are even taking advantage of it. And when it comes to spending, that's the third thing, you know, the average young person wants to do. Um, you know that Nigeria is still, is still largely a cash-led society. Merchants are still finding it very difficult to accept new technologies, and this is, is showing in what you know, happens. And the last thing is she wants to be able to invest, right? So we, we heard about what happened last year in terms of um, Ponzi schemes and how it affected the, the economy. I mean, CBN posted numbers saying that you know, there were over 12 billion who was lost in the process, and that was, that was, that was horrible because the average young person does not know what to do or does not have a bulk sum of amount to actually invest. So the little they have, they want to quickly multiply it. Now, but we're making progress today, you know, on all fronts. In terms of savings, you have apps today that can help you automate your savings easily. You could choose to save daily, weekly, or monthly automatically. Um, there are apps today that helps you access credit, you know, in less than five minutes without collateral. You know, there are apps today that help you um, pay bills, you know, buy airtime, pay for your PHCN bills, all those other things, very easily. There are companies today who are tackling payments. I mean, we just heard recently that, you know, one of them is currently helping over 4,000 merchants accept 1.3 billion in terms of transactions every month. That is interesting. A lot is happening in the space. You know, so looking ahead, Linda, five years from now, Linda is probably like 33 years old. What do we want to see? We're looking at platform synergies where you know, a savings platform can synergize with a lending platform to say that, okay, because Linda has demonstrated you know, a good savings culture, she can actually access credit. Or because Linda started her business online, so she can demonstrate a good sales record and she can also access credit. These are the things we're looking at. He, uh, the former speaker talked about you know, AI and machine learning. Today, using your Facebook chatbot, you can actually buy airtime. This is the future. This is what we're looking at. You know, very interesting stuff. You know, in, to conclude or to wrap up, I'd say, you know, while digital is often seen as disruptive, you know, there are still a lot of opportunities in every transformational phase, right? And we're beginning to near an inflection point where the availability of digital products is much more cheaper. Today, starting a business online is very, very, very easy. The barrier to entry is very low. There are people who record more transactions on Instagram than they record on e-commerce websites today. So I'd say, you know, there's a lot of op opportunities out there. And as young people, there are, I believe we should be taking advantage, advantage of these opportunities. Thank you very much.